Today, we're going to install the new digital control in the Royal Wood Pellet Grill. And I really like this new control. It's got a lot of new features that we will look at and talk about later. I really like all the controls for the uh, cold smoke and uh, 15 different degrees that we can do with that. Puts us right up there. And this is a real simple procedure. We've got the control, we've got the probe, and all that you need to do that with is a screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, well it depends on the type of screw you use for your probe, a crescent wrench, and a small screwdriver to do the leads for the uh, thermostat probe into the uh, back of the control. And you can see that it's a small screw right there and your two leads speed there. And while I've got this here, let me show you this. This is the back of the control. And uh, if you ever need it, right there is a replacement fuse. And uh, that's where the fuse goes. You'd open the control up, pull it off, and there's your backup fuse. You can get replacement fuses, uh, almost any auto parts, uh, Kmart, Walmart, uh, Radio Shack, anything like that. It's just an everyday little car fuse. And uh, these are your uh, potentiometers, or POTS as they're called, to calibrate this thing. You do not ever need to touch those. They are all set from the factory, and if you start playing with those, you will probably screw it up. But these two screws here are the ones where we're going to put our wires in for the probe when we install our probe, or digital probe here. Okay, what I've done here is I've taken the wires off the probe and I've taken them and I've twisted the end of them together here so that as I feed it through the hole that they will kind of feed together instead of spraying and trying to go in two different directions. Now Patty, my lovely assistant, is feeding the leads from the thermo thermostat probe into the pre-drilled hole. Feeding that down, I'm going to pull it all the way down through and set the base of the thermostat probe into that hole. Just like that. And what I've got here is just a simple nut and bolt. You can use any nut and bolt that you might have on hand that'll fit. And we're just going to put it in here through the holes and tighten it up to secure right, the... Uh, he's got the screw started. It's now going underneath. Going underneath to do the nut. And you just need to kind of finger tighten this. This is all you need. And there it is. All right, you feed That's it down the to the second hole just underneath the lip there and feed all the slack out of it. So what we've done is we've run the lead down the trough for the drip pan and then through the feed hole between the side of the barbecue and the hopper. And then we'll pull the panel out, the control panel, and replace it with the new digital panel. The next panel. step is to unscrew the control panel which has two screws. You can use your little crescent wrench. I'm using a nut driver, or should I say patty is. Before you get started on this process, you make sure you unplug this thing from the wall. You want to cut all AC power off to it. So you gently just feed it out, pull it out, for the probe out through the access panel. And the old control is hanging. So now we're going to take the two wires, two leads off the probe, and put them into the back of the circuit board. Now this is very important. I've seen people do this and come back and say that their digital control is not working, that they can't get any temperature readings. Well, if you don't hook up the temperature probe, you're not going to get any readings. Okay, Patty's got the wires into the connector, and this is where you could use a third hand, and since she's holding everything, I'm just going to reach over with a screwdriver and tighten it down while she's holding it. 
and you don't need to really crank this you just need to be finger tight it's kind of a small screw and that's that's all you need is just finger tight not a whole lot of torque there are four connectors on the controller they run all the electronics on the grill they are color coded but it is easier to replace one connector at a time with the old connector than a new connector and that way it's impossible to uh, mess the wires up and uh, connect your controls differently and get funny sounding fan okay, etc. Well, I want et you to notice here that the connectors are keyed. See how they have the ridge in there or the point like the rooftop of a house? It means they can only go together one way. So you don't have to worry about getting them wrong because they only go one way. snap together they got that done and and there it is the job is done now all we have to do is feed the wires back inside kind of tie them up or twist them up you can use a bread tie or a tie wrap so they don't catch any fan motor and we are good wires to go. in and it's just tightening the screws and finishing up on that there again you don't have to crank them with a lot of muscle just hand tight and this is a beautiful control I love the new features on this thing It's done. Okay. Quick screwing. Okay. <laughs> what I want you to see here is you see that control right there that says smoke? That gives us 15 P control settings for the smoke mode from 1 to 15. They're all different temperatures. This allows us to now cold smoke, which is a whole nother world of smoking. Can't wait to try it.